Hey, wow, great. So I'm going to talk to you of one of my pet projects, something maybe unexpected for you. It's called WebVim. I can bet something for sure. Most of you are using as a development environment Atom, WebStorm, uh, uh, Eclipse, uh, NetBeans, Cloud9, some, some call IDE, and mine is Vim. <laughs> Vim. Not exactly Vim, but Web Vim. So maybe you will ask me why nowadays I am using something back from the, from the 19s uh, with this kind of logo. And I've built something called WebVim. It's a Vim-based distribution that targets JavaScript and web development. So yes, why nowadays I'm using something like that? You know, when I start developing, I remember uh, one of my colleagues that was able to edit text file really faster than I can ever dream. So the concept is my fingers. The fingers can edit text faster than with any other tools, maybe Emacs. I don't know. It runs in the terminal, so I can, yes, I can open a file of multiple gigabytes in my terminal without consuming a, a lot of m megabytes of RAM. Uh, and frankly, every day I'm learning something new. And as a developer, something that has no price. Uh, the ecosystem is huge. There is a lot of plugins, a lot of configuration, a lot of stuff. Uh, go, go to GitHub and uh, you will see. It's a free software, uh, exactly a charity where it's a free software. But there is always a but. Um, with Vim, the learning curve can be high. The barrier to entry can be a little bit high. And it comes like Node.js without battery included. So it means when you start with the configuration, it can be a little bit tricky, as you can see. Uh, this, uh, you have to configure mappings, plugins. There is different system of plugins. You know JavaScript fatigues, you have the Vim fatigue. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. So I've built something called a Vim distribution. We have Linux distribution. So I've tried to introduce the concept of Vim distribution. Exactly like in a Linux distribution, I provide an install, I provide a plugin system, not me, but uh, one from someone else. I install plugin, I select them, I configure them, I write a little bit of Vim script. When you write Vim script, you know why you love JavaScript. And uh, I've added documentation for the mappings, uh, and it's tested. You know uh, that your project is used when you do something crap, you commit it, and two hours after, uh, there is a user that calls you saying, oh, what have you made? OK, so Vim, compared to other IDEs, maybe has not a lot of features. But with everything configured, I have autocomplete, multi source, error checking, ESLint support, JSLint support, Git integration, module navigation, ES2015, and a lot more, a hardcore mode for real Vim user, and so on. So if uh, you like my project, give me a star. And this is the project and me.